Uh, hi, I'm Jan Westra. I'm a strategic business developer at Prevar for North America and Europe. We have a payoff creating a climate for growth in which we design, sell computers for controlling the climate and everything in greenhouses and buildings and indoor farms. Uh, as a patron member of the Netherlands Canada Chamber of Commerce, I'd like to invite you to watch this video that we had made during the visit of Prime Minister Rutte to Canada. Uh, one of the events the, the NCCC co-organized was a meeting on CETA, the Comprehensive Economic Trade Agreement. And watching this video, you will get enlightened of what, what's it all about, what CETA is all about, and how Dutch and Canadian firms can benefit from this new agreement. CETA took a long time to negotiate, but it has been in existence for one year already. And by some reports, it's been very successful in an entree to new trading relationships. Not all European members have ratified it yet, but with all this talk about tariffs south of the border, what we're seeing with CETA is, if I'm correct, 98% of tariffs have been removed. What an accomplishment. Prime Minister, why is CETA so important to the Netherlands? Thank you for this very good question. Three reasons. Uh, first of all, because as you said, it has tripled, it, 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 trade is increasing. It already tripled in the last 10 years, but now we see an extra uh, increase of trade uh, to the Netherlands, but also from, from the Netherlands to Canada. And we see this from many European countries. That's reason number one. Reason number two is because what we do with CETA, we combine uh, free and fair. So it is really a modern foreign trade agreement. And reason number three is because it is an example of multilateralism. That you have an EU of 28 member states, Canada being uh, one of the biggest economies in the world, a member of the G7, that we can still work together. Trade has increased. It's around 24% on average, both ways. So it, it is increasing. More and more companies are becoming aware of CETA. Um, but a lot of them don't know specifically what's in it for me. And that's where the Chamber can play a role. That's where the, the Trade Commissioners from both embassies can play a role. We have uh, really three roles, I think, as, as a, in our Trade Commissioner service. Information, promotion and client service. And what we do is we provide information for any business that wants to expand into the Netherlands or for any Dutch company that wants to go into Canada. Very practical things on a sector by sector basis or a location basis. Um, you can pick that information up off the internet, but you can also call us on the phone. And then we provide client service. We have a soft landing program on both sides of the Atlantic for small companies that want to explore the market for three months they can settle uh, settle in and we help them build their networks etc so it's, it's very practical for the past almost a hundred years we are uh, designing producing and selling uh, beautifully designed and sustainably made household products we're proud to say we do this uh, for the vast majority of our products in the Netherlands and we are trying to get we're trying to expand our business in Canada first I'd like to hear from uh, Mr. Thies de Wilde with uh, Brabantia. Um, what has been your experience so far with CETA? Well, we're operating in the household industry, which is a highly, highly competitive market, very much price-based. Uh, in Canada, so far, we are dealing with the top retailers, and there, you know, it's, it's very much based on you know, quality products, but also on price. And the CETA agreement has already given us way to expand the current business in the current retailers, but also it's easier to knock on the door of other retailers. The only challenge is that um, actually the right commercial decision makers of those retailers need to be informed about the CETA, and this is not always the case. I'm hearing that as a theme, actually doing a bit of reading, that it needs to be more promoted in general. CETA needs to be known more. I, I think so. I mean, in, in the major retailers in Canada, we find that they have a separate department for uh, imports and regulations. These people are very well aware of the benefits, but it's not necessarily translated in the proper way to the commercial decision makers. For Canada, of course, you had such a big uh, neighbor, the uh, US, so I think ma many companies here in Canada do business with the US. I think that's quite natural. But now to also do business with uh, 28 countries in the European Union, uh, and, the, and that, there's a market which is twice as big as the American market. So uh, I would uh, urge you to, uh, to get on board. There are so many opportunities, but we have to uh, work on this. I think the embassies are working on that, both here and in the Hague, the Canadian embassy in the Hague, the Dutch embassy here in, uh, in Ottawa, but also the consulate generals in various cities here in uh, Canada. The Dutch government, the Chamber of Commerce and the Netherlands Canada Chamber of Commerce are working on this. And uh, of course, um, maybe I can add to this that from a technical point, uh, Dutch business can only profit from these lower tariffs 
if they are registered as certified exporters at customs. That's very easy. It is a quick process, a quick win. Uh, but you have to do that to make maximum use of this. We realized that this was key and, and actually a, a precondition to, uh, to make use of this. So this was immediately done. And uh, yeah, we're already doing the business now in Canada. So uh, this, this uh, doubling or tripling of the, of the business has already happened with us, actually. And we foresee more growth in the future. Well, we're glad to see you because I love quality kitchen products myself. <laughs> very good. I do. And there it is. That's the yeah. truth. I'm very happy that uh, CEDA is in effect almost a year now. And uh, I must say it really increased our business. We do dispensing equipment, so beer towers, beer faucets, uh, all kinds, anything related to draft beer and draft equipment. And I, I must say I'm excited about uh, CEDA at the moment. Another thing what happened is we're dealing with Aquiflex uh, beverage houses and we were going to be the dealer for Europe for them and doing distribution marketing for them. So we not only sell equipment into Canada, but also get equipment in from Canada. So it works both ways for us. The Aquiflex is a hose and tubing manufacturer. We manufacture the tubing that runs between uh, uh, fountain systems for Coca-Cola and Pepsi and between draft beer systems for Coors, Molson or, uh, or Anheuser Bush. Push. For us, the European market was too many mountains to climb for the longest time. It was easier to look at the low-hanging fruit in the United States and maximize our potential down there. Right. But of course now, with CETA, what has happened is, is of the five major barriers that I had moving my product into the European Union, CETA's knocked down three of them already. Uh, we feel, you know, we, we have a, we've selected the right partner in Canuck Beverage. Um, and that is a big part of, mm -hmm. of what you're doing because we're using their skill and their expertise in the European Union markets to allow and you know us to propagate our products over there. The biggest mountain has been tariffs, mm -hmm. and uh, if you look at the 33 percent uptick in trade and exports from Canada to the Netherlands, that's mm -hmm. clearly because of the tariffs. It's lobster, it's salmon, it's seafood, um, it's pulp and paper. It's uh, so it's it's all the uh, all the things that Canadians like to send overseas. All of a sudden, have gotten between seven and 22 percent cheaper. One reason we have been able to reach so many more Dutch companies is we have gone through the Dutch trade associations. Why is it um, a focus on, on small and medium-sized enterprises? Why is that so important? Well, 90 some percent of our businesses are small and medium-sized enterprises. Uh, so they are the backbone of our economy. And, and the more, uh, the healthier they are, the healthier our economy is. And they have a greater potential to grow. They have technologies, they have skills uh, that we know the rest of the world can benefit from. So, but we feel that it's untapped. And that's why there's a significant growth opportunity in that sector. Uh, Spotsy is a data analytics company. Um, for instance, if you want to open a new store, we know the best place on earth to do that. We are originally a Dutch company, um, but four years ago, uh, we decided to incorporate it in Canada. And now we've got our second main office uh, in Toronto. And the reason we chose Canada is there is a really good IT atmosphere here. And I would even compare it to like Silicon Valley in San Francisco. It's all about people. It's all about knowledge. And the CEDA agreement makes it more easy for us to transfer people in between Europe and Canada. And we're looking forward to expand more. And I think CEDA will help us to grow even faster here in Canada. Yeah. CETA helps with mobility. And uh, the government has, and again, I, I de defer to the parliamentary secretary on this, but we've created this uh, a new visa process for global skills, which makes uh, it really much easier for highly skilled employees in those industries to come to Canada and, and, and work there. CEDA within it also has provisions for uh, uh, professionals to mm -hmm. live and work in each other's countries. Yes. CEDA has lowered barriers for professionals, particularly in the digital sector that you're describing. And I do want to highlight that the, earlier this year, our two countries signed MOUs with our research council agencies. We also signed MOUs with our uh, statistics agencies, and we signed MOUs with the uh, development finance agencies. So there's a particular uh, awareness. Can we do more? Yes. My name is Sven Tummers. I'm Managing Director for Vermilion Energy here in the Netherlands. As a patron member of the NCCC, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. 
If you'd like to know more about CETA or doing business between the Netherlands and Canada, um, please visit nccc.trade or come visit us at the next event.